Hi guys, I'm Kendra from Kendra's Got Wood, and one of the most popular questions that I get asked is how I make my frame. So I've actually had a tutorial put together on this method for a while. I'm going to show you the entire rabbiting method from start to finish. I do want to say I did make this video a while ago. It wasn't originally made for YouTube, so please excuse any lack of professionalism and the vertical formatting. However, you should still find it helpful. It shows you every single step. I did upgrade miter saws since making that, but aside from that, I still use the same method. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my frames. We want this board to overlap over this, so I'm gonna start by setting my blade to about the height of my sign. So then I need to set my fence. So I am going to bring my fence about a quarter of an inch a half inch would be better, but I don't have a whole lot of room. I don't want to overlap my design too much. I didn't plan that very well, so I'm going to do a quarter of an inch. So now when I run this through here, it's going to cut about the height of my sign. So I know that I want this to be the inside, so I'm just going to line these all up so that I know that when I pick them up, I can run them through this way. I am grabbing my Feather Pro because this will help prevent anything from kicking back. So now you're left with just this cut that does not go all the way through. And then next we need to cut that piece off. I'm going to reset my blade so that it cuts just through this piece. I don't know if you can see, but it is raised up so that it cuts just through that. And then I also need to reset my fence so that it cuts just up to this point. When you do this, you need to make sure that the piece you're cutting off is on the outside of the fence because if you have it on the inside, it can shoot. So now that you have these cut, you can see that it will overlap your piece. So then you're gonna come over here to your miter saw and you are gonna set that to 45 degrees. And then you want to make sure that you have your rabbit on the inside and your 45 degrees is going to be going in towards it. Then when you bring it back over to your sign, you've got your miters. And then instead of measuring, you can just slide it up next to your sign and mark where you want to cut, and then go back over to your miter saw and cut your angles. One trick that I like to use when I'm cutting my angles is that you want the shorter side to be the same length as your sign. Now you can see that's what it's supposed to look like, and you need to repeat that all four times. So now there's a few different ways you can assemble this. I usually glue and clamp right to the sign. Some people will assemble their frame and then just drop their backer in um so that's totally up to you again i'm just gonna glue and clamp right to the sign and then i'm gonna try splines for the first time actually i mentioned at the beginning of the video that i still use the same method but lately i've actually been assembling the frames first and then dropping my backer in so i am going to do a part two and i'll show you guys how i do that however i do want to add in at the end here one of the other ways that i have also used plenty of times that also works well so i don't generally do tutorials on this because i don't always do this the same way but i am going to go ahead and show you guys how i'm going to do this one so i am gluing this sign to my rabbited frames and i'm actually going to glue this upside down in these clamps so I'm going to start with my wood glue. Now that I have my glue here, I'm just going to drop this in. And you need to be really careful not to get a ton of glue in the front of my side. So I didn't want to remove this, but I did go ahead and speed it up because I want you guys to see that I am double checking and readjusting multiple times here just to make sure that it's all lined up. And then before I tighten these completely, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of double check to make sure everything's all lined up. And 
that it's gonna look okay from the front as well. And then I'm gonna tighten these up completely and I'm gonna go work on something else while this dries for about a half hour or so. So here's a more close-up version of what this looks like right now. And the nice thing about these clamps is I can kind of like flip it over and check and make sure that it's gonna line up good on the front and everything, but yeah. So I'm just doing the same thing with these two now. And again, I always make sure to add glue on the mitered part too. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and again, tighten my frame up. All right, I hope you found that helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and make that part two in the next couple of days. So if you're catching this early, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you wanna see added to that. But I hope that that helped so far and thanks for watching.